How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I can't complain. Good, good. Trying to uh, get caught up on sleep after uh, the trip. Yeah, that trip looked insane. It looked really, really good. Yeah, it was cool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, because I didn't realize. I knew you were going, but I didn't realize you were doing the whole going to haunts and things on the, yeah. on the way. So that's really yeah, awesome. The people I were going with, they, they wanted to go see everything. I'm glad I did because I think yeah. two of the haunts that we saw were just amazing. The Markov's yeah. Haunted Trail was like, it was just yeah. this crazy spectacle. Like you're going through the woods and there's just this one huge set after another. And Wow. Yeah, awesome. I, went and wa- I went and watched it afterwards when you sent me the link. I was like, whoa, this yeah. is mental. <laughs> this is yeah. really good. Wow. That's cool. Then the uh, this one, the Penhurst Asylum, was yeah, yeah, probably the scariest haunt I've ever seen by far. Wow, okay, it was super. Did cool. it actually? You actually jumped, or you know? Uh, there were a few times they got me. Yeah, <laughs> they had some awesome actors where it's like, wow, you know, like one scene you're walking through like these bunk beds, right? But they're just okay. like kind of set off center, and they have like one animatronic that goes up, but they got these girls that are just jumping around the beds wow. and like getting right in your face, and they could touch you there. They didn't. Oh anything, really? But they could okay. just gently touch you, and they're like, you know, kind of grabbing at your feet and doing Ooh, stuff. And um, cool. The best scene though was towards the end. There's this, my favorite. There's just this one hallway, and they've filled it with fog, and they had these okay. bright lights in it. So I, yep. you're walking, you can't see in front of you. You're just walking mm-hmm. straight, and all of a sudden, people just emerge out of the fog right in your face. Wow. It was Whoa. Cool. <laughs> and you're in the and you're that in the tunnels of a, you're in the tunnels of a real asylum. It's an wow, old, it's really? a real old asylum, oh, right. yeah, that you're in. Oh, okay. So like you're you go into the buildings a little bit, but then you go into the tunnels that connect the buildings, and awesome. so like just the setting itself is already there, you know. That's amazing. Oh my god, I would freak out if I when I was probably about I think I was about fifteen. We went to a theme park here in the UK, and we I accidentally it was the first time I'd ever been in a scare hall, any kind of horn. I yep. didn't know it was that. We thought it was a cafe. This sounds ridiculous. We thought it was a cafe because <laughs> that's what it looked like from the outside. And we went in and it was just me and my friend. And they said, right, uh, hey, group A over here, group B over there. And we were like, okay, maybe this is how they serve food. I don't know what, what's going on. <laughs> and they were like, right, you need these hard hats on and you you just need some high-vis clothing. On. And I was like, I'm, I was looking at my friend. I was like, "What's what are we doing?" And he was like, "I don't know. Just go with it. Just go with it. I don't know what this is." And it was genuinely the scariest thing to this day I've ever experienced. Because apart from the fact we didn't know what it was, right. they, we then realized we we thought, "Are they? Do they think we're builders? Like, what's going on?" <laughs> and we just got led down this tunnel, and we we went through a, a like a like a meat packing fridge with like things hanging up. And it was only then that it dawned on me this was a scare walk because there was like dead bodies hanging in the freezer (laughs) and then someone came out with a chainsaw and i was it was that i think that was the most frightened i think i've ever been in my life because it was just so unexpected (laughs) that is hilarious yeah it was completely by accident i was like i just food and then there's all these people coming at you (laughs) i just wanted a sandwich (laughs) it was crazy it was so Uh, good though we went awesome. in about three times after that, to be fair. So nice. It's funny. It'd be funny if you went back another day and it was just a regular <laughs> restaurant. You're like, I know, yeah. Like, what did we imagine it? No, it was really <laughs> weird. It was great though. Really good. That's awesome. All right. right. I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put that in the video. That's too awesome. <laughs> that's, that's such a great story. <laughs> it was just the way it was so unexpected. It was just like we've gone in for a sandwich. And I was like, why are we given hard hats? And then we were in this room with like a dripping pipe, and I was like, what's going on why is there a dripping pipe and uh it just they just got better and better this guy coming out with a chainsaw you're like Jeff, excuse me where do i get my sandwich like, are we now gardening is this what's right? going on like, what's going... there was a guy playing like like the on the organs as well at yep. one point i was like and he then disappeared and then he reappeared somewhere else and we were all <laughs> just me and my friend were just like looking at each other the whole time like is this is this happening? Is this really <laughs> happening? Like, where are the sandwiches? Like, <laughs> it was uh, funny. That's great. So it was like a deli theme on the outside. Yeah, that that's okay. genuinely. It genuinely had seating outside and with like little umbrellas and things, and it just looked like a cafe. And there was like inside you went inside. It didn't look 
nothing about it looked like this is what this is going to be. There was no signage that said this is a scare horn or whatever, <laughs> cafe from hell. I don't know. There was <laughs> nothing. It was I just, we just walked in. I was like, I'm hungry. What, what are you having? He's like, I don't know. I think I might have a burger. I was like, I think I might just have a normal sandwich. And then all of a sudden we're giving hard hats and we're walking through this horn. And it was the craziest experience of my life because it was so unexpected. And nothing, I've been on so many haunts walkthroughs since and nothing's ever lived up to it because I just had no way of anticipating what we were about to experience. It was right. so good. I don't know but whether then, it was on purpose or not. I, I still, to this day, haven't figured it out. But they're not back there anymore? Or have you never been back there? No, it's it's a theme park on the other side of the country, and I've never been back. Um, okay. I do want to go back one day just to see if it's still there, to be <laughs> honest. But oh, did, was it like a hallucination? I don't honestly know. <laughs> it was so crazy. Da -da -da! Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today... We are going to be talking about Lowe's versus Home Depot. Whoa. Funny thing is, we had actually started recording this about a week ago. Mm -hmm. And then all these videos came out. And now we said, oh, probably have to record again because we're going to have a different point of view. So what a shame. Right? <laughs> so we're going to do this. We had to get this out before any new info gets released. So we're going to have a quick turnaround. Give it a try. <laughs> Lowe's and Home Depot. Battle of the Home improvement halloween <laughs> <laughs> battle of the diy stuff. right <laughs> it kind of sounds weird when you think about it but they are yeah two of the biggest halloween vendors now so all right so let's start out with the wednesday ones so wednesday adams the protagonist of the show you know they did that classic dancing meme i think the prop looks good i just I don't know what you do with a dancing Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, we've I've talked about this in my own videos. It's it's a bit too specific, isn't it, to that particular uh, show? If you love the show, I can imagine you would really want that. But it's I don't know. I just I don't know what you would do with that Wednesday prop. I don't know. It, it's like they've taken the most popular moment from the entire show and gone, yeah, this is the animatronic we're going to make. It's like you could have done a a cooler prop with wednesday to be honest i think sure. anyway. and that this part of the dance is even only like two seconds <laughs> it it's exactly it's not even the main part so it's yeah i don't know it's a bit weird for me i don't yeah. like and it the thing with any kind of dancing prop is like you're still it's very static it's doing this right and you get the head moving yeah but just when bit. you're dancing your whole body's moving so it just looks off. exactly yeah no i no I'm, it, I'm not feeling it. Not into it yeah. at all. All right. So let's give it a score. Okay. Do you want to reveal okay. first? So I'm going to give her, because I think she looks good, um, but it just doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to give her a four. Four out of ten. Ooh, okay. I've been a bit mean, and I've gone for a two. Oh, a two. <laughs> That's a bad. That's a bad number two, to be fair. But that is a two. I've gone for two. It doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. I liked the series, but not enough that I would want this prop. And like you say, it's not even a particularly interesting animatronic. It, it looks very much like uh, Jenna, Jenna Mord Ortega. Oh, God, her name's gone out of my head. Jenna Ortega. Jenna yeah. Ortega. Jenna Ortega. <laughs> But it's not particularly interesting. It's just, a, it just to me looks like a mannequin that someone's added a tiny bit of movement to. So, no, not feeling it. Okay. Let's move on to the next one, which is the only one that really ties in with the classic show. Because this Wednesday's, she's too far removed from the show mm -hmm. for me to feel like Wednesday. Let's get to Cousin It. And Cousin it? I thought originally it was actually like a one that would kind of roam around, but it kind of just, just does this. <laughs> Which is probably like better, honestly, if you're going to put it out in your yard or something, yeah. you know, at least you can, it'll yeah. move it because it's not just going to get stuck in the grass. Uh, yeah, that's true. Without having the original family, I would never buy a cousin it. Yeah. So while it's my no. favorite out of all of the Wednesday props by far, it's still not perfect. What are your thoughts? Same thoughts. I, uh, because I love the classic show, I like that because it relates to the classic show. But it's too random. It's all well, too specific to it. If you were not, if you're going to do an Adams Family theme, 
yeah, that would probably go quite well. But it is just a bit too specific and a bit too random, and he's not doing a lot again. I mean, I couldn't even figure out in the video they played the theme tune, the wedding, uh, Adam's Family theme tune, is that part of the prop? I couldn't tell whether that was just in the video or whether that was something they had alongside it. Right. I, I don't know. I, I assume it um, isn't the prop, but I actually have no idea. Yeah. No, I don't know at all either. In which case, I don't know. I, what else is it doing if it's not to that music? But do you really want that music in your horn if it's not an Adams Family themed horn? I don't know. It's a bit too weird for me. I'm not sure of it. But I think the dance could catch on. I think I think you could see people <laughs> just doing this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it could do. Definitely. All right. Let's get to scoring. Mm. So for this one. Because it connects to the original show, and it's probably my favorite all out of all of them. I'm gonna give it a four. It, it's it's okay. still it's really just hair with sunglasses, <laughs> so I don't feel like I can go much higher. You know. Well, I think yeah, I, I, I've been a bit harsh still. I've given it more than Wednesday. I've given it a Fair three uh, because because it's I do like the Adams family. I do like cousin it. It's just that this particular cousin it does look like he's been dragged through a hedge a little bit too i don't know it just doesn't look particularly good it's to a bad me. hair day uh, it's a bad hair day for cousin it you know i like the silky smooth hair straight and right <laughs> cousin it personally and you like you say it's so simplistic you could really make this prop i mean i, I don't know how you'd recreate this but it is just a big long wig with sunglasses right. on so i don't yeah, know you can tell that the hair in the original show the outfit was heavy so it kind of laid flat and this is yeah, kind of exactly a little frizzy going on yeah so. nah, not intimate all right let's get to everybody's favorite prop the most expensive in lowe's lineup this year and that is joseph crackstone my vengeance will be swift and true <laughs> yeah, which is weird that that's the most expensive. But okay. the, I think it's their licensing, maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, right. Okay, but maybe. You can't use that as an excuse because with Party yeah. City coming out with the Terrifier props for yes. a crazy, crazy good looking props, way more animation, mm. and they're super cheap. Yeah. This isn't about that. But to compare that no, to this one, still. you could get Art the Clown and the Pale Girl. For less than you can get this guy, mm. which is insane, really, when you think Absolutely. about it. Absolutely, because again, I mean, I mean, I think there's going to be more people who are interested in Terrifier than they are going to be this. I mean, I don't know. It, that's a very random. That's unbelievable, really, when you think about yeah. it. I mean, unless you're doing a a, a haunt theme that's either specifically Wednesday or Pilgrims who mm. fart out their mouth, then <laughs> I mean, other than those two, I don't really see how you'd use them. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I don't know. This is, again, another random one. I said last time we talked about this that he's o the only one I can imagine you using in a haunt that wasn't to do with Wednesday. That's because I think unless you know the character from the yeah. show, you would other than that just go, it's a pilgrim guy. Right. Yeah. It's still very random, but there might be someone who's got some use for that. I don't know. Maybe someone's got like a Mayflower themed haunt or something. I right. don't know. I'm not sure. But it's you can imagine that, sort of. It's still a creepy guy. I think it's got more legs on it than, than the other two have, personally, out of the range. Right. I, I agree with that. You know, maybe people, maybe they're going to start doing like a Thanksgiving lineup here in the U.S., right? And then we can have pilgrims and Native Americans, scary Native Americans. And they, and here in England, we could just have him and we'd be like, get out, you religious freak. Like, like, that would be the horn. I don't know. Oh, perfect, don't know right? the horn would be. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So let's get to the scoring. Mm -hmm. So I like the look, but I think between the price and the fact that he just doesn't really do much besides fogging out of his mouth and sound effects. You know, I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to give him a three. <laughs> oh, go for a three. Right. Okay, go for three. Okay. Well, I went for a four, oh. which is the highest scoring of that particular range, only because I think it's the only one that you could use 
in a different horn. It's the only one I think that fits other possibly genres a little right. bit. I think maybe if you took the pilgrim hat off, <laughs> it might have a bit more. I don't know. The, you, there's something you could do with that, but it's still way too expensive, oh, yeah. and it's still pretty weird. So I don't know. No, it's uh, it's not getting a particularly high score from okay. me. All right, let's get to and let's just do them together. The band, the Reaper band. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we got the guitarist with a different color guitar from last year. We've got the keyboardist, and we've got the singer, and. I think mm-hmm. they're all good, you know. Uh, the same critique I would have had with them last year is that the animation's kind of limited, you know, like the keyboardist, he doesn't mm-hmm. really look like he's touching the keys, and, you know, the singer's just kind of doing one of these. But I think they're good. I think they're cool. And as a set, they look awesome. You know, I think as you put them all together, they look really cool. So, um, yeah. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Same. Same thoughts. I like them. In general, I think they're really cool. I love the Bluetooth feature. I think it's a really simple but really effective thing, the fact you can play your own music. Uh, It's great for a party. You know, if you are having a big party or something, I can imagine them looking great in a party. They would work in a haunt, I think, but probably more the party end of any Halloween-related thing. Yeah, like you said, maybe a little bit too basic because they're not, you know, the keyboardist is just kind of doing this and then all that. And it's not a... Uh, the amazing animatronics here it's just th- but they're still pretty cool i think if you're into rock music or you've got a you know like a big party thing going on at halloween i think these would really do well i think yeah i i quite like them i've always been quite drawn to them in yeah. a way. all right let's get to the score mm-hmm. because of their limited range of motion yep. and the fact that they're they're pretty basic animatronics but i really like the concept and i love the bluetooth i am going to give them a six. Ah, well, funnily enough, I also said six. Okay. I um, I'd say better than average, better than middle, but still not, you know, hyper amazing. They're, they 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 do get the job done. They are what they are, uh, but they you know they're, they're still a lot of fun. I think I think people will have a lot of fun with these guys. Absolutely. So let's stick with the music theme and let's get to the. Mm. I don't know, mini rapping reaper guy. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yo, boo, 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 uh, boo. Now I was disappointed because yeah. it doesn't look like the mouth matches up. It kind of looks like it just does this. Yeah, it does just do that. Yeah. But uh, but the whole boo, yeah, you, boo, that, boo, that. boo, boo, boo. I mean, that's that's some <laughs> lyrics right there. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, whoever wrote that. Uh, the next Grammy goes to them, I think, really. So, it's a cool prop for kids. You know, if, if you're going to have just a few decorations and you want to throw something on your front step, yeah, it works. You yeah. know, it's not something I would ever really buy, but it's no. not terrible, I guess. No, no, it's it's fun. It's like, if you, like you said, if it's, you know, you've only got a small display area or you're just having a small party or it's just for trick-or-treaters and you want to put it on your porch or by your door. Perfect. Just adds a bit of, it's a bit of spooky fun. Yeah. He's, he's kind of cool. I quite like a rapping reaper though. You know, the lyrics maybe were wanting a little bit, <laughs> but they're not too terrible. Right. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. But the mouth movement, I agree is a bit annoying when the mouth doesn't line up. And I think he was what? $80. I think. Yeah. So I thought he was yeah, more like a $40 is... prop. Yeah, so, yeah, that's exactly my thought. Um, yeah. So that's, you know, makes it a little worse for me. Mm. I think it's a decent prop for kids. I think what it does, it, it does all right. I'll give it a five. Ooh, I see. I've gone four. Yeah. I'm saying a four. Solid four for me um, because, I don't know, it's just, it's okay. It's not too bad, but I don't, it would definitely not be something I would be buying, especially not at $80. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's kind of I crazy. think it was the lyrics it's that put it up to the five for me. It's, it's like it stuck it in my head. I just, I, I just walk around. You know? Yeah. How, how well, do you get work yeah. done when that song's in your head, you know? I, I, I know, I know. I mean, the, watch out, Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. Right. laughs> okay. Let's go from the smallest to the biggest. And this is the 12 foot bone collector. Yeah, so I was That's on a right. roller coaster with this guy because I first saw him, he had the pale skin, he had the big sombrero, 
And I thought like goth guy going to the beach, maybe he's got his little beach shovel. <laughs> then we saw him and he had like the hood. Right. And I remember you, you pointed out to me, I think you saw it first and you're like, he actually is starting to look kind of cool. And yeah. I agree. You know, we almost had like an emperor Palpatine kind of vibe. The skin got kind of gray now and he had the hood. That's it. And now seeing the video, I like him more. I still hate the shovel mm. in the bag. Okay. The shovel proportions yeah. are just weird. Yeah. Like that would definitely break. And I don't know how you have yeah. a solid bag, but two arms and a head managed to fall out. That yeah. doesn't work for me. <laughs> but he's not doing his job right? as a bone collector <laughs> particularly well. right everything's he puts it in they fall out the other side <laughs> the guy who is who's in charge is just like oh god <laughs> why did i hire this guy <laughs> but i think the voice is cool actually and i thought his his phrase was pretty cool his phrase didn't really make sense for a bone collector but that's fine because i don't really want to use him as a bone collector so if, if i was going to get him Replace the shovel, give him like a cool scythe or, or something else. Yeah. Uh, get rid of the bone bag or fix it. Make it like a net maybe with skeletons in it. So if something's hanging out, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, but then extend the, the jacket down to be like a robe. And I think if he's like almost like this giant dark minion mm. who's talking about mm. the master and all that stuff. I think it's cool. The eyes yeah. look pretty cool. The mouth, mouth looks decent. I mean, what are your thoughts? Mm, exactly the same. <laughs> I saw this guy. The first time I saw this guy, I was like, I, I didn't realize it was 12 foot the first time and was just like, I don't get why you'd want this guy with a sombrero on. What is this? <laughs> I don't really understand what's going on. Then realized he was 12 foot and actually that put me off even more because I thought, well, this now, I don't want a big 12 foot guy with a sombrero on. I don't get that. You had your epic rant about the 12 foot props right around that time, right? I did. I did. That was, it, it was that prop that sparked that conversation because I was like, dude, maybe we've gone too far. <laughs> maybe 12 foot, it's over for 12 foot because this just looks ridiculous. And then I did a complete 180 and saw him in those manager meeting videos as, as bad as the footage was and was like, actually, this looks really good now. The, the face looks much better. He's got the, just the detail on the face looks really good. The, the bit of movement we could see, I liked just the movement of this the head. The fact it didn't have the, the sun hat thing on and it was a hood instead, much, much better. And then we've seen recently some better footage of it as well, which, yeah, I love that eye movement. I love the phrases that he's saying. Like you say, doesn't make a huge amount of sense for a bone collector, but still kind of cool. I'm on the fence about the shovel. I don't know whether it's needed it might have been better if there'd been some movement perhaps with the shovel, but there right. isn't. So that's, I don't know. And like you said, the bone bag thing is, is terrible. I mean, at first when I didn't realize it was 12 foot, I was like, so what are we saying? Is this like a baby <laughs> in a bag? Is this the, the bones of a baby? Yeah. And that still isn't making any sense. And like you say, it's like, he's not doing his job very well if he can't even put bones in a bag and he's a bone collector. Right. I don't know. I, he's, I like, the prop, I just think the stuff around the prop is a bit pointless. Um, but yeah, as a prop, very, very cool. Okay, so let's get into the score. Now, surprisingly, mm. with everything else in Lowe's, the price is going up. The price for the 12-foot did not. Yeah. So he's still only $400. Which is really good. Yeah, so I think for... Now, I'm judging him based on what I would probably do with him. You know, if I look at just how he is, mm -hmm. I would probably go down a step but because mm -hmm. of what i would think i would do with this prop i would give him a seven okay okay i i was i was a bit more positive than that and i went for an oh. eight i i yeah i've done a bit of a, a 180 on this prop completely from thinking it was terrible and the worst thing i've ever seen to actually pretty awesome not the best but definitely one of the okay. best i would say just it just has those it's like you said, there's just those couple of elements to do with it that don't make a huge amount of sense, but you could make it make sense um, and definitely give this thing a much cooler look if, if you have the time and the patience to do so. And yeah, I think it's I think for that price as well, you can't you can't go far wrong with that. I think that's a good price. It's probably the best value out of all the lowest props, as long as definitely. you need another 12 footer, right? Um, yeah, well, who doesn't? I mean, pretty sure it's going to be at the point like, 
Look at that guy. He's got seven foot prop in his yard. Pathetic. <laughs> How pathetic. He can't even he can't even go to a ten foot. <laughs> like... Did you see how Sunstar now has a fifteen foot scarecrow? I, oh no, no, I've not seen yeah, that. It's, uh, no, I've not seen this. T- no, it's, it's looks like a giant Sunstar prop. <laughs> it's got that same Ew. like skeleton shirt that oh. the werewolf had. Oh, that werewolf was that was horrendous. Yeah. Absolutely this horrendous. Is... Whoever thought that was a good idea needs go into a psych ward. I'm pretty sure that was horrendous. This is the werewolf's taller brother. It's that much better, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Uh, maybe a little bit because the, the scarecrow head probably is better than the wolf's was. But I get some proper hate here in the UK for not talking uh, talking up Sunstar because they're pretty much the the props that we see mo- most of are Sunstar. We see loads of Sunstar props, and some of it's okay. It definitely has its place in the market, but it's generally terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and ev- all the other UK haunters are filming it, and oh look at this, and I and I'm sat there going. Yes, it's it's great. <laughs> and they're like, Dan, you hate it, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I hate it. I'm sorry. It's terrible. <laughs> I can't hide my loathing right. for it. I'm sorry. Uh, we won't spend too mm. much time on Sunstar, but 15-foot yeah. scarecrow, <laughs> I mean, pretty soon wow. we'll be at 20-foot. Yeah. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I, Yay, I Sunstar. I figured the slightest breeze and that thing's just snapping in half, but... <laughs> The werewolf did not look like it would stand up to any rigors, to be honest no. with you. I don't know. No. All right. Yeah. So Lowe's came out with a seven foot gargoyle. And I remember thinking, I can't wait to see this prop. He is going to be awesome. Yeah. And then I saw the picture. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> as you know, we famously called him the pooping gargoyle because he, he's, mm. there's a, one of those fabric columns. And then he's like, got his legs yeah. up and he's scrunched up and it <laughs> looks like he's taking a poop. And then he's got like this weird fur collar on because. Gargoyles have fur mm. now, and obviously, I, I, I don't know. This thing's a hot mess. <laughs> no, the same thing. I saw it. I was like, like "What's the fur collar about? The plinth, the pillar it's on is terrible." And then the, when you said it's a pooping gargoyle, <laughs> that I, I, every time I looked at it, all I could see the face. Then I was looking at its face, and it just looked like it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, no, that's I can't even take it seriously on any level now. So even if it's revealed that we get some proper footage of it soon and it's doing something amazing, I'm never going to be able to think of it as anything other than the Putin gargoyle. I, part of me om- almost hopes it goes on sale at the end of the year because I've made fun of it so much now that I've kind of got this weird connection, you know? <laughs> like, I would just put him yeah. in my bathroom so I could just poop next to him, you know? Like, of course. You're just having banter with the, with the right. poop gargoyle. <laughs> uh, all right. So we don't have footage yet, but the score I'm going to give it is going to be probably one higher than it deserves. And it's only because I've made fun of it so much now that I kind of like it. I'm going to give it a two. I mean, it's pretty bad. Yeah. A number two. Right. <laughs> number two for the poop and gargoyle. Well, I've got exactly the same hey. number two for pooping alcohol because it's not. I've seen worse props. Okay. <laughs> that's that's bad when you're categorizing it that way. I've seen right. worse. <laughs> um, it's it's not amazing, but it's 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 fun and it'll look good in someone's horn. I'm sure you could probably mod um, it maybe and make it look better. Yeah, yeah you could mo- make that pillar better. I'm sure and take off the fur collar. And maybe, you know, some footage will come out soon and then it will look amazing. I, I doubt <laughs> it, but it might. So, you know, yeah, it's a, it's a solid, it's a solid number, number two, two. For the pooping <laughs> gargoyle. <laughs> number two. <laughs> All yeah. right, so now let's move on to, we're going to do the, the two cheapest props in the lineup. But okay. cheapest doesn't necessarily mean bad. Now let's start with the, the yes. tombstone pop-up zombie. I actually kind of like it. I know it's a basic prop, right? Yeah. And it's not going to be like yeah. the star of your haunt, but it's a solid side piece. And I, I like the look of the zombie. I think with the cobwebs, it, it kind of hides the, the flatness that would be behind it well. And I like the prop. 150. I wish it was 100, but still, I think it's it's decent. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I It's actually one of my favorites from the range, funnily right. enough, because it is simple, 
maybe a, a little expensive, but simple, but it gets the job done. It's great in a, it, you know, in any cemetery haunt or in any haunt generally, it's something that pops out and gives a quick scare. Great in my books. You can't do anything better than that. And, um, yeah, the zombie looks good. It's got yellow light up eyes. I don't know whether it needed that, but still, it, it looks a good zombie covered in cobweb. The tombstone, it looks pretty good too. Yeah, I, I rate it. I, I quite like it. It's just whether that price is a little too steep for something that's just like a side piece. I don't know. Um, but it's cool. I like it. I'm, I'm a fan. All right. So mm -hmm. taking everything into account, I think I'm going to yep. give him, I would give him a seven. Ooh, okay, okay. I've been a bit mean then in that respect because I've given him a five. Okay. I've gone right in the middle. Uh, I like it a lot, and he is one of my favorites. But it's just that price point maybe just takes knocks a couple of points off for me because I think one fifty for that is like you say, just pushing it a little too much. I think maybe one hundred would have been fine. You've Got to see the quality um, with the quality. You know, what I mean, in yeah. person because. That could easily jump down to yeah. a three if it's terrible, you know. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it looked okay from the footage I've seen. So, uh, yeah, but I've got to go right in the middle five because it's not extraordinary, but neither is it terrible. It's it's right in the middle, right. I think. All right. So let's get to the other graveyard pop-up one. And this was the, the skeleton. And... Again, this one was kind of like, we saw it, we knew what he did. It was clear, you know, when you mm -hmm. see that, it's coming up. I assumed it would be a skull because it had a skeleton body, but we weren't sure. Yes. Then we no. saw the leaked picture, like, right before the video, and it was a skull, and it looked very clean. Mm -hmm. Then seeing the video with the light-up eyes, mm -hmm. the really good lighting that Lowe's does in their videos, mm -hmm. I actually like him more now. I think that the pop-up looks pretty quick. It looks like a pretty decent yes. pop-up. And I think it's another one that would be great to throw in your graveyard. Not going to be the center mm -hmm. of your haunt, but an awesome side piece. What are yeah. you thinking? Yeah, exactly the same. Um, I it's, This is no little Jack Carver. You know, this is not that. But it's I, I like the fact it's quite a large prop. It's, well, it's four foot, I think. Yeah, is I that think correct? So. It is four foot, isn't it? So that's not, you know, that's no, no minute groundbreaker type prop. And then the action's nice and quick. I liked it. It was quite a quick pop-up. It was fast enough that the whole thing kind of shakes a little bit when it does that, which I think adds a little bit of extra movement to the thing anyway, so it kind of makes it look cool. Yeah, the skeleton maybe is a little bit too clean looking for my liking, but I can forgive that. I think it's okay. I like the light, the light up eyes. I, I might have preferred it if the pumpkin lit before the actual action because it lights very very quickly just before it happens yeah. and then it only relights because of the lights in the, the skull's eyes so it might have been more cool if if it had actually been a light up feature permanent light up feature but i don't know i'm, I'm on the fence about that i kind of like that action i think it was kind of cool so yeah i like it i rate it definitely okay. so i don't know he's tough because he's bigger than the last one right so he probably is worth yeah. a little bit extra money and um, yeah. the mechanism probably was a little bit quicker. And uh, I like the cheap props this year. I'm going to give him a seven. I think he's decent. Uh, yeah, well, we're on the same wavelength here because I also went oh. for seven. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's a bit better than the little tombstone guy. Um, yeah, not the most amazing one of these. I think I would rate like Spirit's Little Jack Carver a little mm -hmm. higher. But yeah, I, I fully appreciate this. I um, I would certainly like to have him in my heart. I think he'd go down really right. well. The other thing I, I got to say quick for people that are looking like, wow, I can't, I can't believe he's scoring these so high. I'm scoring these kind of relative to those prices because if mm. these same props were at Home Depot for this price and I could get Lethal Lily yes. for $50 more, exactly. I would probably score them a lot lower. So to be fair... Yeah. Um, I've been looking at these all together as like Lowe's props and the pricing they have. The prices mm -hmm. are high compared to any other place. Yeah. <laughs> if you think those are high prices, you should see the eye-watering prices props go for in the really? UK. It is insane. I mean, to, when you said 400 for the big bone collector guy, he would be, in the UK, 1000 wow. Easy. Easy 1000 That's crazy. If not more. Because because it's the shipping getting them here and that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's it's 
hearing you guys go 400 i'm like that's insane that's great so and that makes your heart even more impressive realizing how much more you have to pay for <laughs> this everything is, this is what i mean yeah i mean it, it's, i have to spend a lot of times begging my wife please let me spend a bit more money right. <laughs> yeah. that's why we're gonna get so, you monetized you're getting so close <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit more you Come can on. Get there. then you can justify it right there. like look i'll make money if i, I know, have yeah. a video on it I, Hey, I made two pound fifty right? today, so I get this month, so I can let me spend five hundred, please. Uh, all right. So now let's get to the nautical theme. This is the big uh, overarching theme for Lowe's this year, and it's an interesting theme. I I don't dislike mm. really what's come out of it. It's just mm -hmm. again, how niche is it? How how many people are going to use it? I've seen a lot yeah. of defenders online. But I think when you get to the general public, that might be where the disconnect is. Yes. So I guess if we start with the nautical theme, let's just start with the captain. He's kind of like what yeah. you would expect, right? You've got this yeah. ghost sea captain. And I think he looks great. I think the, the design looks cool. You know, he's a sea yeah. captain hat. He's got these weird little pointy teeth. And I think he looks good. I think the something about the way the arms are on the wheel, it feels yeah. a little off to me and i think that i wouldn't have added the head turn with the steering because it's kind of weird to be steering like this <laughs> where am i right <laughs> because there's sometimes he's turning this way and the head's over there and it's like well that's probably not a good idea uh, but <laughs> no wonder uh, the ship's wrecked <laughs> right <laughs> that's why you're dead uh, that's why you're dead so yeah. But I think he's a, a cool looking mm. prop. I think the steering wheel detail looks great. I do really like this, but I don't really love this. <laughs> so I don't know. What are your thoughts? I'm in the middle with him. I think it would have been cooler to go down the sort of more like the Davy Jones, like Pirates of the Caribbean Absolutely. look. Personally, that's what I would have preferred to see in, the, in a captain. It, it's okay. It's quite good. I like the way it's lit. Um, the movement is a bit boring and a bit odd on the steering wheel, like you say. But yeah, I, again, my biggest bone to pick with it is just it's too specific. And it's not even pirate specific. Right. It's w ship specific. And I don't know. It's like, I don't know whether you have this in the US. We have <laughs> fish <laughs> fish fingers or <laughs> fish sticks. They're like Captain Bird's Eye. I don't, is this a thing? I don't know whether this is a thing uh, apart from in the UK. We have fish sticks. I don't know about <laughs> Captain Bird's Eye. But <laughs> we have a guy called Captain Bird's Eye who's a captain on a ship. And the first thing I saw of when I saw this guy, I was like, that's Captain Bird's Eye. Because that's what he looks like. He looks like, the, so all I'd think, people would just come. If I got that, they'd be like, why have you got Captain Bird's eye in, in your Halloween display? <laughs> Why, where's the fish? Where's the fish sticks? Like, no, right. everyone would just be like, "That's really you crazy." Give weird. out fish um, sticks for Halloween so, instead of candy. <laughs> yeah, spooky right. fish sticks. It's like, oh, they've been left out for a while. Oh. Are you gonna get sick? Who knows? <laughs> just, it's an okay prop. I like to say there are positives and negatives. I like the light in, but it's just a bit too specific to to nautical uh in a, in my opinion in a slightly unusable way yeah. unless you got to put it on a ship i, I don't know how you'd use yeah. it personally but yeah so let's get to scoring and i think with the 350 and fifty price tag that just puts it in a whole nother category for me i think even 300 wouldn't have been as bad yes so i'm yeah. gonna give him a five hmm well, I went for six okay. after what I've just said, even though Captain Fish Sticks, I'm going to... You love um, your fish sticks. Just, I like fish sticks, what can you say, you know? Um, <laughs> he's okay, he's all right. Um, but of that range of nautical props, probably my least favorite, I would yeah. say. Let's move okay. on to what was probably everyone's favorite going in. And this is the Haunted mm. Deep Sea Diver. And yes, I love the look of this prop. It's probably the best looking, I think, out of all of them. But he just doesn't do anything. <laughs> he's got yeah, a waist turn. He's doing nothing. And then he's, mm -hmm. he's like talking about maybe hunting some kind of giant squid that then yeah. kills him. Maybe that's what he's saying. That's the vibe I got, but it was a bit strange. Yeah. 
And then you've got the light up skull in there. And it looks, again, looks good. But I almost feel like if you're just going to have it turn, right? Give us some kind of dialogue making you think he's alive. And then have the skull mm-hmm. flash up revealing that he's dead. Something like, it would cost them yeah, no extra money. would have made more right? sense. Right? Just having the light turn up yeah. later. But at least it would give you a little something else that... Yeah. I think maybe yeah, or have the light like flicker in with his dialogue, or like when he screams. Yeah, at the end, like uh, a, something. Oh, yeah. So it's something yeah, different. Definitely. Or if, I, I think if he had mm. like a stabbing motion or something, or for three hundred and fifty dollars, that's a lot for basically a diving costume and a plastic skull. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Same. Looks great. Doesn't do a lot. It's. It, I love. I love the look, and I did this is probably just me, but I thought of the range, possibly he's usable in, in a, in a non nautical horn, which sounds odd, but I have just thought Scooby-Doo. Absolutely. I went straight to Scooby-Doo. Yep. It's this classic Scooby-Doo, you know, diver guy. Yet, like you said, I, though he looks really good. He's just doing nothing like the most simple movement ever. Uh, and the phrasing is weird because you don't know it. Yeah, is he fighting something? Is he is he dead? Is he about to die? I don't know. In which case, does a skull make sense in the head? I don't know. It's it's all a bit it's a bit all over the place. Unless it's like maybe he's supposed to be like a residual haunt, right? So it's just reliving the last moments yeah. of his death. I'm thinking, but yeah. Also, in the demo video, the voice sounded kind of muffled, mm-hmm. which I thought was good. I, that's how it sounded. That was if that is how it sounds. I think that's a really clever idea that it sounds like a guy who's got his his head in right. a helmet. You know, that was kind of cool. I did like that. But yeah, I don't know. It's I'm very in the middle about this yeah. one. I I think I love the look, but it's just a lot of money for what you're getting. Uh, for basically mm. one motor turn, I can't justify three hundred and fifty for that. So mm. I'm gonna give him a five again. I wanted to like him more because I love the look, but mm. I just don't. <laughs> well, I I went with a seven. Oh, so I, I, I'm being quite generous only because he I I rate him a little higher than my last one, and I I was generous maybe with that one with the captain with a six, but I yeah I can't give him the same the same number because I would genuinely prefer him to the captain. Um, I agree. But I still don't have a clue what you do with him. No idea whatsoever. Right. You know, and because I'm like learning how to make them too. I think if like, if you could just find a way to make a costume pretty cheap, you could make that super simple. You, you could. Know? Yeah, you really could. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's hit the seaweed witch quick. We don't know much about her. She's the cheapest of the big props. I think they, her mouth just moves. I, Maybe the staff hand moves a little bit too. I think it said. I just don't know. We needed two nautical witches. You know, I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Well, we said this last time, didn't we? I mean, one nautical witch, okay. Two nautical witches, what's that about? Right. I don't really know. And again, it's this thing of she just looks to me like a cartoon witch. She looks reminded me of the witch from Snow White. I think it's the yeah, eyes. I agree. She's got webbed fingers, but I don't know really what else makes her nautical. I don't know. Obviously, when we actually see some movement and some phrasing, maybe it'll come to light a bit more. But I don't rate this witch. I don't particularly like the look. Yeah, yeah, I I think it's a really bad witch, (laughs) to be honest. And that's hard for me to say because I like witch props usually. So, so yeah, this is not one of my favorites at all. Okay, so let's get into scoring. It's a little cheaper, so I can give her that. And you could probably repurpose her to not be nautical. Mm-hmm. I don't know what her phrases are. But uh, mm-hmm. I'd probably give her a two. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, I've been I, I've been really nice then. I've given her a five. Wow. So I've gone five. Because I think the only reason I've gone five is because I can't I, I don't want to be too judgmental until we've actually heard yep. or seen what she does. She isn't great, and I don't like her, but there is something that always draws me to witches anyway. And like you say, you could possibly tinker with her and repurpose her a little bit. So, I don't know. She's not the worst prop in the world, but she's not the best. So, there she is right in the middle. Yeah. For me, anyway. I'm being, I'm being very generous today. I feel like I'm all over. I'm high, I'm low, I'm... 
I'm just consistently generous. Right? You wake me up at six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be all over the place. I know. <laughs> You're just like all over the place. Yeah. All right. So let's get to the other witch. She is called the Servo Sea Witch, but she is Siren Witch now. Did they change the name on that? Siren. I yeah, I heard Siren Witch. Yeah. So I like the look better than the last one quite a bit. She's got the Servo movement. Looks pretty good. I don't know if I love the light up eyes. It makes it hard to see in the video what they're doing. Yes. But yeah. I think she could be cool. I think the phrase is actually decent. Uh, something I could maybe use for my haunt. So I got to put that yeah. back where I could make her the one that cursed the ship. And that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, so I think she's decent. She's not Lethal Lily level. Lethal Lily feels almost like alive to me. And she doesn't. She still feels like a problem. Mm, no. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. I liked. I, I was hoping we were going to see Lowe's version of Lethal Lily. Uh, and we didn't. It's not Lethal Lily. She's okay, though. I, I, if you're going to go nautical theme or or anything to do... She's... At first, to be honest with you, I didn't realise how nautical she was. She didn't look very nautical yeah. to me. Like, we keep on making this joke of, where's the fish in the pocket? Right. You know, she needs a fish in the pocket. You know? She just hasn't got that look of nautical, apart from maybe the outfit has... It's like a net. And she's got ever so slightly webbed fingers. I liked it. I liked the movement of the eyes. Yep. I did like that. I like you said. I don't know whether they needed to be light up. Um, it was the one. The thing I found weird was the light up claw hand. Did you see the the, the, the nails yeah. lit up green? I was like, what? Why is that a thing? I mean, I know, all right, she's maybe casting spells. That was yeah, I think maybe that's supposed okay. To be the curse, maybe, but yeah. yeah, she's like casting a curse sort of thing. But I was like, I don't, I don't know whether that she needed that. It's as if someone in the factory just went, hey, we can just stick some lights in the nails. Like, why not? <laughs> I don't know. It <laughs> seemed a bit seemed a bit random to me, but yeah, I do appreciate what they've done. I like the servo movement. Anything that's got servos in it, it just does bring things to life a bit more. Um, so yeah, she's she's okay. She's definitely much better than the last yeah. witch. So agreed. Okay, so let's get into scoring. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm jumping way up to the other end because I I'm glad that that Lowe's is bringing the servos. I still think she's. Yes. The most articulate prop of, of theirs. The most complete, I would say, probably. I'm, I'm actually going to give her an eight. So I oh, think, because okay. uh, I think I could see me using yeah. her. I could see her maybe being repurposed. Mm. She'd definitely work in what you want to do. Definitely. Year, without a doubt. So what are you thinking? Yeah. Well, I went for uh, S7. Okay. Uh, not too far off. About the same. Um, like her. Uh, I'm just a bit disappointed that she isn't. The Le Lowe's Lisa yeah. Lily. I, I was hoping for more, uh, but she's good. I like her. I just, uh, again, just a little bit too specific if you aren't doing nautical theme. And this is what we've said about everything in this ring. I don't know who's buying this unless you have a genuine purpose for it. Okay. So then, okay. who am I missing? Squid Mouth. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> right. The, uh, the, what do they call them? Zombie Fisherman, that's I think, or something. Zombie Fisherman. Yeah, that's right. So we'd only seen that one picture for a long time. And then we finally get the mm -hmm. video. And I think he looks pretty cool. I don't know why he's talking. He literally has like an yeah. octopus <laughs> squid tentacles coming mouth. out of his mouth. Like It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I think if you could, you just change that to a moaning zombie. Mm -hmm. And he goes up probably two points for me. Yes. I think he's cool looking. I think the... Uh, I like that they put the barnacles on the hook and everything. Like it kind of feels like he's been mm -hmm. down there for a while. It's a cool design. It's something different we haven't seen. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like it. I could just like it better mm -hmm. if they'd made the, that change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fully agree. It's that thing of he looked really cool. He was actually the one that I was quite excited about. Probably most excited about in the nautical range because he did look really cool. But like I said all along, I hope he doesn't talk. I hope he doesn't talk. I hope he just <laughs> moans or something. And then when we found out he was a zombie, like I suppose we should have figured that out. But it did look like a zombie, but there was nothing to go with right. that. So uh, I saw the name zombie. I was like, yep, he's just going to moan great amazing and then he's got phrases and i'm like why is he talking that makes no sense anyway it doesn't make sense if he's a zombie right. why is he talking zombies don't talk but then he's got his mouth full of squid he's like so <laughs> what what why why is he talking is it the squid talking i like i don't know right. i mean the only thing i said was the fact that the jaw actually moves on this guy does make the squid tentacles move yeah. 
But you could have done that with moaning. You didn't need phrases. So I, I don't know. And it's the light up eyes again. I don't know whether he needed light up eyes. No. Uh, yeah. Very cool looking, but just, I don't know. Like, I, I think they could have done what, what the movement they've put in that, they could have put into the deep sea diver. I don't right. know. And, they, and, and it would have made more sense. I don't know. It's a bit odd. Yeah, I agree. I'll be generous. I'm going to give him a seven. Okay, okay. That's, yeah, that's fine. And I've gone for six. Yeah. I've gone for six. I was around the edge of six. Six, seven, sounds about right. He's, he's, he's good, but not as good as I hoped he was going to yeah. be. And it's just, it's just that thing of him talking, having phrases that lets him yeah. down, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I agree. It, it's okay. It, it'll fit someone's horn, I'm sure. sure. Next, we're going to talk about the headless lady in the gown. And like the look, I think the costume looks very cool. Like she just has a waist turn, I believe. Yes. The head, the mouth does not move. The eyes are green, I think. And where the neck is, it has a red light coming up. Looks cool. If she's going to be a talking prop, which I'm sure she is, if the zombie's mm. talking, and the mouth doesn't move, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's an okay prop. What do you think? Yeah, same. I can imagine her in pretty much any horn. She's definitely got, you know, ghost, dead woman vibes. It's, it's, I could imagine that in my haunt. It's disappointing. The movement is just that. And like you say, the fact the mouth clearly doesn't move. It doesn't look like it can. And she's going to have phrases. You know she is. So that's going to be annoying right. in its own right. Take that away. And she's actually pretty cool. I like the fact, you know, she's a headless woman. They've got the light in the neck. So that's obviously meant to be red so for, um, for blood, you know, I'm guessing. Not sure she needed the light up green eyes, but... It's okay. It's ghosty, I suppose. Light up green eyes. Right. Yeah, she's okay, but uh, yeah, not my favorite. I'm going to give her more points than I probably would have because I think she's got a lot more usability. Graveyard, Haunted yes. Mansion, anything like that. Even though I don't think Definitely. she's as good as some of the nautical props that I, I put maybe mm -hmm. a little bit less. I just think that this was one that anyone could kind of use and it's a cheaper one. I think True. she's on the cheaper end. I'm going to okay. give her a six. Okay. Yep, that sounds good to me. I I've gone for a five. I thought, yeah, she's she's okay. She's in the middle. She's not the best. She's not the worst. But you know, I could imagine. Yeah, she's got a lot more usability. I could imagine her in my horn definitely. So, yeah, why not? Okay. So the final one, the one that I'm much more excited about than you are, is the beheaded knight from the haunted mansion, and. You know, disclaimer, I grew up, my parents had the timeshare, so we went to Disney when we'd go visit my grandparents in Florida a lot. So I saw the Haunted Mansion a lot, and it doesn't have much motion, but it has exactly what it needs. It, it sings the song, and I think it's awesome. I think it looks pretty close to the original. I think it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it does. For me, I don't have quite the same nostalgic connection, because uh, I've never been to Disney. Wanted to go, but never been. So I've never been in the Haunted Mansion. I know what the Haunted Mansion is, of course. I know the ride because it's awesome. Yeah. But haven't got quite that same connection that you have. So for me, it's just a cool Headless Knight prop. And yeah, it would work in my haunt just because, well, I'm in England and we have knights and stuff and it's kind of cool and creepy. Right. But I don't know. I, I, for me, it's it's just another prop. I, I'm very interested to see what it, it, it actually does. I mean, I know you know what it does because of, of, of the ride. But for me, I'm kind of interested to see exactly what it does and says. Yeah, it's it's cool. But I don't because I don't have quite the same nostalgic pull, yeah. it maybe doesn't mean as much to me as it does yeah, to you. That's fair. So I think for $300, and it just really has that one movement, which is, all it should have because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a statue that's singing i think they nailed this prop and mm -hmm. i'm gonna give it a nine nostalgia kicks in wow I, okay I, I wouldn't want them to screw it up by adding something that shouldn't be there this one i think they nailed yeah well i went with a five again because it's a similar sort of i mean i suppose it's a bit better than the than the, the ghost woman we've just talked about to me it's a cool prop but it's not something i would personally be chasing after to buy because i don't have that same nostalgic kick uh to this particular prop and it's just a cool night to me so yeah but yeah he's very right in the middle not bad not good just boom right in the middle that's fair 
Okay, so. Right. So I think we've hit all the big ones, right? I think so. I think that's all of the Lowe's ones that I can think of. I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> we should probably just skip this one because I know you're giving it a 10. <laughs> All right. Let's get to okay. the circus clown. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I like the look of it. And I like the idea of him balancing on the, the bowling pins. That's cool. Yeah. Clearly, this was designed by somebody that bought stilts last year because yes. he's got the bowling pins and he's got the. I know some people love it. I think the head rotating mm. is stupid. Mm. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's such a cheap animation yeah. that's just like what are we gonna do oh no we'll have the head spin around that's scary yeah. and like the exorcist right yeah <laughs> yeah the exorcist is everything about that is scary that's no, terrifying I, Not no, this. A, a clown's head spinning around it to me it looks like we have a motor we don't want to have mm -hmm. to animate anything so let's just have it spin and of course I, I don't get it no well you know clowns not my thing i will just say as clowns go, this one, even though the footage was terrible, it didn't look too bad. It uh, just, I, I did think if I was a clown person, if I liked clowns, the fact that it stood on its hands and its feet are in the air, that would be something a bit different. That's kind of cool. I like the fact they've got the feet, the, the legs kind of moving at the same time. Yeah, as clowns go, that's a pretty good one. But again, I like you. The head spinning thing, what is that about? They don't, that's not scary on a clown. It's just, no, it's unnecessary. It's stupid. So, no, not not for me. But but I, I, if I was a clown guy, <laughs> yeah, it's an okay clown. Yeah. Now, I've never been in a bowling alley where clowns are bowling. <laughs> Maybe in real life their heads spin around when they go bowling, and I just don't know it. Maybe right? that's it. Maybe that, that maybe really that's accurate. them. They're looking down the aisle to make sure the bowling ball's gone the way they want, but they're also <laughs> looking up the scoreboard at the same time. Right? <laughs> maybe this is something clowns can do. Maybe clowns right? are related to owls. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, that might be it. <laughs> All right. So let's get yeah. to okay. rating this. Uh, okay. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Despite how much I, I dislike it, the animation, mm. I do mm. like the look and I like the concept of the balancing. I'm going to give it a five. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Fine. Uh, I went for a two. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, higher than I thought but... you'd do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Considering most clowns that I see would get a one. That's a pretty high ranking for a clown, I have to that say. Is. There's not many clowns that would reach higher than that for me. Uh, Twice I as good like, as I, the I average thought... clown prop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, better than the average. Um, no, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't want to be too harsh on it because I know there will be people who love this. Um, so I would not score it a one or a zero. But uh, yeah, it, for me, it can't be any higher than a two because it's just not the sort of prop I would ever, ever buy. So, okay my 10 prediction was proven wrong <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it So, everybody, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a comment down below. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Let us know what you think. Let us know. But uh, we appreciate you watching. And with that said, again, I am Scared Dad. And I'm Halloween Dan. And keep it spooky. Bye. Bye. Oh, well, that was fun. That was good. Yeah. I enjoyed that. That was awesome.